Casino Speedway again. We're on the racing once this weekend. Uh, lovely Hannah drew a 46. So we're going the wrong way. We're going to be starting probably in the back, about 50. So in the last row, I would imagine. But we made it. We got the car all ready to rock. Now all I got to do is uh, drive to the front. Stay tuned. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we do halfway decent. second heat tonight. We got a bunch of hot shots in our heat, so we'll see how it goes, but we're gonna go out there and give it all we got. Went out for the national anthem and my shifter broke on us, so that was cool. We got it put back together, all those few rivets came out of the, my shifter's riveted to the cockpit. The rivets popped out of it, we got that fixed, ready to go for the heat. We'll see how it goes, stay tuned. We got the whole fam. Alright, you want to tell them where you're starting here? Second to last. It's in the back. Long ways to go. Well, not that long. I need to finish in the top four to qualify, so I'll figure out where we're going to start the feature after that. Well, we can only go forward from here, bud. Well, I mean, I could go back once. But Don't say that. <laughs> Number two in your water tail for Chrysler with Southern Midwest Modifies rolling to the speedway on the pole and are also in the number five. That's Luke Quick. I want to be YouTube famous. You want to be YouTube famous?
got. How was it, Chief? Well, left front touched the ground at all. The boot laps, right? <laughs> oh, when you were pacing. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, these things just hanging. All right, we came up to look at the track. Looks like it's gonna be real fast and probably a little rough. But we're starting towards the back, so we'll see. Might have to dodge some wrecks. If it's this fast, usually people like to go crazy, so. We start, Chief. Then throw outside. Not good. Not ideal. I don't know. Jack's putting off some fast lap times right now, so hoping we don't get tangled up in a rack or something. I'm gonna push it as hard as I can because I won't end up towards the front at the end of the race. I don't know, I've been wrecking a lot. I might back it down just a little bit and see if I can work my way forward on the restarts. Have to see. Stay clean, don't get wrecked. That's about all we can do. Number five on your inside of the Miller 3L is Luke Johnson. And his outside and a good one is number 19 is Tyler McFarlane.
How was your race, bud? <laughs> that was rough. Yeah. I mean, it didn't matter where I went. I tried on the bottom, it was rough. I tried on the top, it was rough. You look smooth on the, the top, but you'd hit that rut, and then it would just send you everywhere. Yeah. Oh. Sorry about this light. We're going to go look at this fancy starter that you blew off. So there's supposed to be a starter somewhere back in there where that hole is. It ain't no longer there. Other than that, the car looks like it's in a pretty good shape. A little body damage, but... It ain't bad. All right, what's up, everybody? It's the next day. I had some time to kind of relax after that ride. Uh, it was a quite the rough track, but I think it all came down to where we drew in the end because there wasn't a whole lot of passing in the heat or the feature. I sure couldn't get around anybody. It was just, I mean, it was a mixture of being so rough and there was a lot of moisture in the track, so it was pretty wide open where you could get on it. I know the late models that went before us were pretty much wide open. I mean, they were putting down crazy lap times. It was rough for them too, but they were putting down pretty fast lap times, faster than I've seen in Watertown. So overall, it wasn't a terrible night. We didn't wreck anything that we know of. We got, a, I'm gonna, take everything apart on the car. I mean, I'm gonna pull all the shocks off, check everything over. As you saw in the last clip, the starter broke off through the ruts. So I'd imagine one of the cautions for debris were from me. And I hope nobody got a starter through the radiator or front end, or I'm glad nobody got hit with a starter because that would have been bad, but uh, I don't know. It was still bolted on. It just broke off of the the mount for the starter. So it wasn't like anything just came loose. It just snapped off. Um, but that'll happen on rough tracks. So I know they just put in some more new dirt there. Hopefully they get that figured out and everything. I mean, the last three races, the first three races of the year in Watertown have been fairly good i mean it's been really smooth and racy as far as i could tell so hopefully we get back to that but i think this weekend we are planning on racing in montevideo on friday so we're going to be racing friday and sunday is the plan for this coming weekend so stay tuned to that but thanks for watching like comment subscribe and we'll see y'all later